camera focus. Oh my god. I look good as shit. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Welcome back, Duffy Gang. It's your boy, Tyler Duff, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, go ahead and like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Also, follow me on Instagram. Seriously, like, when I'm not posting here, I'm always posting on Instagram. So go ahead and follow me, please, and hit that like button. Today, I have another story time video for y'all. My life is in complete shambles almost every single day. There is a good thing. I have loads of stories stories to tell y'all, to tell my children, hopefully if I'm alive, to tell my great grandchildren as well. Y'all, this story time broke my heart, but what's new? I seem to always be getting myself in situations where my heart is just broken, so this really, this really is nothing new, y'all. I'm gonna be telling y'all the time that my down low fling things wife walked in on us. I'm gonna make my story times the download chronicles because I seem to only attract down low men. I don't really know what it is about attracting down low men. I don't know what it is about me entertaining the down low men, but it just be so fun. Like, it's just like, how much can I get out of you? How can I make your brain go crazy? I know you want this. I know you want this good good, but you have to convince yourself to come and get it. Baby, just come and get it. Step out of your comfort zone. You can't be in this little box forever. I mean, you could, but you don't want to be in that box forever. You know, like oh I didn't put no chapstick on absolutely not no lotion on my face either before I start the story time, I just want to tell y'all out there not to mess around with download men. Don't do it. Just stop. Save yourself the hurt because once you do it and you get it in, you really going to be hurt. Like, you really going to be sad. You just going to be heartbroken for no reason. Let me go through all the heartache. Eventually, I'll learn. But download men, they don't want to be with us. Yes, they do. Kind of. They like the thought of being with us. They don't want us this. That sounds so sad. Go do you because <laughs> I'm going to be a hypocrite if I tell y'all don't do it. I just want them all. <laughs> So recently, in about a couple of months ago, we're almost in like November, so like a couple of months ago, I matched with this guy that I thought was, goodness, Jesus, just so, <sighs> so fine. Just let me, oh, Jesus Christ. Anyways, <sighs> I'm just thinking about it. It's just like, it's the height, the closer you are to my height, but just a little bit taller, I love you. If you have some cakes, oh my God, just like, you stir in the pot for disaster. I love me some cake. I like to cut me my slice and eat it too, if you know what I mean. Okay, and that's on period. When we first matched, he was talking about how he doesn't want a relationship. He's actually down low and that he's trying to explore that side of him. He said that he always knew that he was like this. He just never initiated anything with any other guy before. And I'm like, say less, I have experience in this field. I don't know what it is about y'all down low men and y'all's first time wanting to come to me all the time, but I will go gladly help you out with that in this experience i i will make this experience as easy and exciting as possible i love it i was telling him like honestly i just really want something real like i don't want to you know just mess around like here and there like i actually wanted something real i, I really want to be stable so that's what i'm inspiring and that's what i'm looking for at first but if you can't like, give me that. I don't really want to talk to you so much. And he was like, honestly, I really don't want that. I will be open in the near future to exploring that. But right now, I really just want to mess around and like make some extra money. What you mean by make some extra money? And he's like, oh no, I want to make some extra money by like you paying me to have sex with me. Excuse me, boo, do you know who I am? Like, I will never in my life give a dime or a penny to anybody for them to be up in my jeans. Like, absolutely not. I have never, I, I will never, I, I actually do have way, way, way more respect for myself for that. And if I, I, I just thought I can't even, there's so many thoughts. I can get it when I want it. I don't need to pay for it. And that's on point blank period. So if you really thought you was about to approach me and that I was gonna pay you so that you can get some extra money, boo, you looking real ugly to me now because I, the audacity for that to even come out your mouth. You know, I'm like going off of him and he's just like, damn, like it's like that. And I'm like, absolutely, because you really don't know who I am. I don't need you. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> So he was just like, you know what? I really like the way that you move. I really, really, really like the way that you sit up for yourself. It means that you're like a normal person. Like you're not just somebody that's like a robot out there just looking at. It's like, I actually really, really fuck with that. And I'm like, 
Okay. And he's just like, you know what? How about I give you my number? And I was like, okay. <laughs> give me that number. <laughs> I was really open. I was like, ah. Yeah, so I, he gave me his number and then we've been talking, like we've been texting and we've just been having like all of our conversations and stuff via phone. Whenever I started to get to know him more, um, we were talking about like our past experiences. I told him about my ex, he told me about his. But the thing is, with his ex, this man has a whole child. Okay, you know what, that's completely fine. Maybe I'll be in, I'll be the stepdad. That's completely fine. That baby daddy, that's fine. But as soon as Miss Mamas wants to come into whatever we got going on and she start questioning and poking fun, I'll whoop her ass. These hands is bisexual. So if she got something to say, baby. Look, I'm already planning this out and this man don't even want me. That's so sad. Anyways, I had this whole scenario in my head, like, gotta whoop baby mama, I'm gonna take care of his child. I love children until they start crying and pooping and need to be fed and driving them around and them annoying me. But I'll still be a great stepdad. So he has a child with this woman and I'm like, if I really did have the chance of being with him, baby mama's gonna be in the way. Like, it's gonna be like a three-year relationship. But he was telling me how they were married and I'm like, oh my God, are y'all married currently? Or are y'all like, no, separated? Like what's going on? He's like, oh no, we're divorced. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Y'all are divorced? Like officially divorced. He's just like, yeah, we're divorced. Like da da da. I don't even talk with her. The only time that we actually talk is whenever it has to do with my child and da da da. And I was like, okay, I am getting older. I mean, I just turned 24. I mean, I still feel like a baby, but like everybody my age is having kids nowadays. So maybe, maybe I can do this co-parenting thing. Maybe, maybe I'll make it work. Still got this fake scenario in my head. Like we're going to be in a relationship. Who cares? And then he was telling me that he's in the military and I'm like, Ugh. This is so pathetic. All right, military, that's completely fine. It's just something about y'all military men. Y'all are absolutely deranged, like mentally deranged in the head to where y'all manipulate. I'm sorry, I, thank you so much for serving this country, but y'all are absolutely insane. So there's so many red flags and I'm just like, okay, down low, the child was married, military, like, if you know, you know, I just, I should have backed off. Highland doesn't back off from this type of shit. I was like, what do you think I am? I love the thrill. Let's get it. Like, give me the thrill, sis. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. I accepted everything that he had to say. He accepted everything that I had to say. He found out that I was a YouTuber, da da da, was watching my videos. After a while of us talking about like a week and a half, two weeks later, he finally invites me out on a date and I was like, you want to go on a date with me? And he was like, yeah, like, let's, let's go out on a date. How about I pick you up and I take you to the movies. And I was like, to the movies? Oh God, Jesus. Y'all are going to think this is the most corniest thing ever. I love going to the movies. Movie dates for me, top tier. We can also have a movie date at home. Some wine, some alcohol, some something, some food, whatever. Candles lit. If you ever invite me out on a movie date, I'm letting, letting y'all know. Because I know I got some download people that be watching my videos and some of y'all out there. If you ever decide to slide into my DMs, ask me on a movie date. You're just gonna make, you're just gonna make me melt. So I was just like, okay. And then he wanted to take me out on a movie date to go see a scary movie. Love scary movies, absolutely. fucking You're You're doing something, you're paying attention. You're paying attention and you're scooping me? You sure we're not in a relationship? <laughs> you sure you're not in a relationship? The day comes to where we were on our date. Date went fantastic, paid for my tickets, paid for my popcorn, paid for everything. Was really engaged for like scary movies. I don't like to talk during, I, okay, I'm gonna completely, that, that was a lie. I love talking through movies. Like I would be like, did you see that? Like, oh my God. Like, I love that, especially during scary movies. Scary movies can also be funny to me, depending on, like, how bad it is. So, but he was with it. Like, he was doing the same thing. Like, I just felt like I was I, I was in heaven. The movie date went fantastic. Loved it. So, on the way back home, he's driving me home. We're getting to know each other some more. Like, we're in really deep conversation. I'm talking about, like, deep conversation. All of a sudden, he gets a call. And I'm like, I look because his phone is connected to his car. Tell me why a girl's name pops up. The girl had his last name. And I was like, oh, don't tell me this is wifey. Oh, this is wifey? This is wifey calling? I thought y'all was divorced. Why is her name still saved in your phone? Like, your, her last name in your phone is your last name. Why? But you know what? Can't even say anything. We're not even together. So I was like, ooh, crazy Thailand. Let me go ahead and take a step back. He wasn't gonna answer at first. I was like, go ahead, answer it. That's wifey. Go ahead and answer that phone. <laughs> hey, like, where you at? Da, da, da. Like, you've been gone. Like, what's going on? Ba, 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 baza, baza, baza. And I'm like, 
she was just like, you ain't been home and da da da. And I'm like, oh, you ain't been home? Oh, so y'all live together. So in my head, I'm getting all the tea. Like I hear his son in the background, like crying and stuff. She's talking about, you ain't been home. Like, you you know, like it's your turn. It's your turn to take care of your son. Da 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 ba ba dee 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 dee. And I'm like, I'm getting, I'm getting all the tea. So eventually after like three minutes, finally hangs up and I'm just looking, I'm like, and he's like, it's not what you, it's not what it looks like. Like we don't live together. She's mad because she likes to do pop up visits at my house. Da da da. Like she's still obsessed with me. Like I can't stand that bitch. Like da da da. And I was like, okay, I'll take your word for it. But it sounded like she really legitimately like lived there still. So I was like, finally drops me off at home. We hug, and then I go upstairs. That was it. Didn't even get it in. Didn't do nothing. Like he didn't overexert boundaries. Didn't do none of that, y'all. Like he was like, literally was just like a date. I liked that. If we don't smash on the first date, that is a very good indicator that you're gonna be here for a while. I went home thinking like, you know, singing, singing songs and picturing our lives together, mapping out where we gonna move to and everything. <laughs> Where's the wedding? <laughs> I am so pathetic. Like, I, I, <laughs> it's a Virgo thing. If you're not a Virgo, you just don't understand. Like, I'm absolutely pathetic when it comes to this type of shit. Like, absolutely. Like, please excuse me. Why do I do this? Fast forward about a week later. So it's like the next weekend. And he was asking me, he was like, hey, do you want to come through? Like, do you want to come over? Do you want to chill at my house? Like, so like, you can see like where I live. Nah, nah, nah. And I was like, you're inviting me over to your house? Of course, I would love to come over to your house. Like, let's go, like, let's do it. So he drops his address and we plan like when to come. So I got like, I was driving. It was about like a good 40 minute drive, 45 minute drive. I don't like to drive longer than 20 minutes, but if it's for somebody that I, that I like, baby, put me on that first class shuttle. I am headed there right now. So I pull up and I'm like, okay you got like a nice you got a nice house okay it's a nice little one-story house whatever your car nice like his car was nice y'all he got a brand new car i was like oh you see you got money okay that's fine that's great love that i knock and everything he opens up the door we're literally like inside of his house like he's giving me the tour of his house nice little three bedroom got a nice little backyard everything everything is fantastic and i'm just like wow he really got his life together maybe he's really maybe he really does like like he was thinking about being in a relationship with me so that's why he invited me over to go see his house like pick me up everything like that date like i'm all here for it this can't be no manipulation tactic right like this absolutely cannot be this can't no it just can't so i'm looking around and you know what i don't really like look for detail i'm lying i'm a virgo i always look for detail i noticed that he still got family portraits posted up like around the house like of him his wife and his child like literally posted like around the house oh i was like is this your wife and he was just like oh yeah yeah and i was like you didn't say ex-wife but okay and he said i asked is that your wife? And you said, yeah. And I was like, okay. So I was just like, oh, she's really pretty. Yeah, she's really pretty. And then he's just like, yeah, but she's pretty, but she's crazy. And I was like, oh, I bet she is. I'm crazy too, motherfucker. Like, don't try me. I'm crazy too. So he's just like, do you want a drink? And I was like, yeah. So we were drinking, we were sitting down, we were talking some more. Like, we love, like, his conversations that he has is the same type of conversations I like to have. Like, we're talking about aliens, we're talking about conspiracies, we're talking about everything. Like, and then he loves watching movies too. Like, I am absolutely in love. So we're drinking and we're watching movies on his couch. And for some reason, he brings up the fact that he has not done it in like months and i was like i don't know where this conversation is going and i kind of like where it's going i can definitely steer that conversation i love that and i was just like yeah you know what like i really don't be around like that either like i really have not done anything in like quite some time like it's been like about like two months for me too like that da, da, da. And he's just like really it's been two months for you why like why do you do it and i was like well why do you do it just like, i asked you first and i was like well because i just don't be around like that like i don't know i don't think nobody want me and he's just like i don't understand why you don't because it seemed like you can get whatever you want and i'm like if i had what i want it would be us in that over there in the bed right now that's what i was thinking in my head i was just like Maybe I'm just waiting for the right one. And then he proceeds to say, bluntly, I want to f Me? Y'all, this alcohol is raging through my body. I know that alcohol is raging through his body because he's biting his lip and everything like that. And I'm like, I mean, if you want to. And he was just like, just don't judge me if I do bad or okay because it's my first time like doing it with a guy. And I'm like, 
Let's go get it on. Let's go. Let's go. Sis, let's fire. Let's go. I was just like, okay, so can we like go to your bedroom? So he's just like, yeah, let's go to bed. So I was like in there and I was like, so you know, like we taking out everything, everything like that. Y'all, he grabs me like this and then starts like kissing me. And I'm like, I love this so much. Like, I just cannot believe this. It's so passionate. Just the soft, gentle touch, the plumpy lips, just, oh my God, just Jesus. Like, can we go ahead and get married now? And he puts me down like real nice and gentle. And I'm like, oh God. And then, you know, we start doing our business, like legit, y'all. I miss it so much, just how it, it just felt so good. I felt like I was in heaven. Like, I felt like I was right where I needed to be. It was just impossible at the way that he was really laying it down like that. Impossible for a first time. He was just, are you okay, are you okay? Hell yeah, I am doing fantastic. As we're doing this, beyond the noises that are going on, I could have sworn I heard some some keys rattling and the door open and closed he didn't flinch so i really just thought like you know what it's just it's just all in my head like i really don't even know what i'm thinking thinking i'm hearing footsteps and i'm like y'all wait i'm all like I'm, I'm i was really like hey do you do you hear that you're what and i'm like no, no no stop stop i was like stop moving child just stop moving just like he's like no all of a sudden boom it's the wife oh i know you ain't Shorty is going off. And all we doing is laying here, butt cheeks out and everything, just looking. I'm just like, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I'm just, I'm bamboozled. I was like telling you knew, you absolutely knew this was going to happen. And he was like, put on his drawers. He's like, hey, 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 I'm gonna need you to get out. Get out of my house, get out of my house. And she really trying to like square up, like trying to throw, like swing, I'm talking about swinging, like, I'm talking about throwing punches. And it was kind of hot seeing him handle her like that in his little drawers, cause he got, oh my God, he got to cake. He eventually like, I can hear them arguing all the way to the front door to where I'm guessing he pushed her out of the house, locked all the locks and everything like that and came back inside and he was like, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry that you had to experience that. Like, I swear to you, like, she does not live here. Like, she does have a key to my house because sometimes I need her to come back and get my kid. Nah, da, da, and, baza, baza, da, da, da. and I'm over here like, I'm gonna put my clothes on. <laughs> cause I'm like, uh-uh, cause if shorty out there and she gonna mess with my car, baby, I'm gonna have to, uh, somebody's going to jail. Somebody's going to jail tonight and it's gonna be me. So let me go ahead and I'm like no, no no like you're good like honestly i really shouldn't have like even came over because i don't even know what you and your situation is with your wife your divorcee your your widow i don't even know but like i really don't want to be caught in the middle of it like so i'm just gonna go and he's just like no you're really gonna go and i'm like yes yeah, like this is too much like i've been through way too much in my past relationship and like everybody that i talk to right now like i don't need this like i really want you to have like a really good life like I, like it's nothing against you i think that you're a great person but like that right here what if shawty got a gun or something I'm not getting shot, not not over this. And now your secret is out, poo. So now you need to go like make up with her and make sure that she not gonna be outing you like that because she seemed pissed. You need to go. <laughs> so he was just like, oh, okay, well, please keep in contact with me. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he walks me to the door. Shadi is in her car still. Oh, well, I'm guessing that was her car. There was a car on outside. And like, you can see her like texting and she like mad and then she's sitting outside the house and I'm like, let me go ahead and get inside my car. I had to do a little inspection of my car. Everything was fine. I wonder if she got my license plate. Anyways, I don't care. I get into my car and I drive all the way back home. So disappointed, but like, it was like the thrill of it all. Like, God, it, it was, oh my God, that was so good. I wish that we could finish, dude, Jesus Christ. But whenever I got home, like he calls me at like 1.30 in like the morning. I'm just like, hey, did you get home? And I was like, yeah, I got home, like da da da. And then he's just like, okay, again, I'm so sorry. Whatever, just a whole bunch of BS, like, apologizing. And he's just like, I want to make it up to you. And I was like, okay, you can make it up to me, whatever, some other time, da, da, da. Fast forward, like, three days later, I get flowers sent to my front door. So I was just, like, reading them. And I love roses. Absolutely love roses. If you give me roses, that's another key to my heart. I'm looking at it, because it was at, it was at my front door. I'm like, is this for me? And there was a card. Sorry about the other day. Hope that your day gets better. 
smiley face. So I really did go and text this man and was just like, did you just send me flowers to my house? And he was just like, I emoji, I emoji, I emoji. Now you're gonna have to marry me. <laughs> me, 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 and, me and wifey, we can duke it out. If you really want to be in this polyamorous, however you say it, relationship, we, I can make that work. Because right now, you really got me in a chokehold. My, my, my pearls are clutched, okay? We still talk to this day. But look, I got other people on the side, you know, just in case this don't work out. So maybe I'm going to need a part two because we haven't done anything else ever since then. Anyways, y'all, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up up leave some comments in the comment section below hit that subscribe button if you're new hopefully i will have a part two to this maybe <laughs> anyways y'all i'll see y'all in the next video deuces